fabulous day for a Sundance, and straight into my arms you will run. <laughs> We saw this documentary called The Man Who Would Be Polka King, and the character of Jan Levan and the world that he was in was so intriguing to us. He had so much energy and he made so many things happen and he was the sort of ray of sunshine in a sort of in a depressed world, you know. Um, we were just really drawn to his energy. There's big themes about the country and success and pursuing of dreams and what the, the, the dark side of that as well. So those are just these things that were very compelling to us. Also, when we were handed the documentary, they said Jack Black wants to play this guy, and it just it was an immediate it seems package like, yeah. that made complete sense to us. I don't like a sit. No, he is standing. As long as you're comfortable. No. <laughs> I'm sure. I might sit. You're right, I'm going to sit. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know, I watched just a couple minutes of the documentary, and I knew I was going to do this character because it's just like, Incredible sweaty dancing costumes <laughs> accent. I was like, oh, I gotta be this guy. I knew exactly what I wanted to do as soon as I saw it. And Can you give us a little uh, example of the accent? Twas a formulas day for a Sundance and straight into my arms, you will know. But <laughs> what? Yeah. It just ends with no. Look, it's been a while since we've been so there. I'm was... afraid it might be a little rusty if I bust out the Polish right now. Okay. But, interesting note quarter Polish. So maybe that's the reason I was born to do it. I'm crazy about Wally and Maya because one of my favorite films last year was Infinitely Polar Bear. Mm. And when I heard they were directing this, I just couldn't resist. I was really taken by how the script was so filled with energy and the crime really does happen, but that um, it was gentle on the characters and really um, gave it, a, there was a lot of heart. And also for me, you know, like sometimes if you're playing someone's wife, it's, it's sort of a, a thankless task. Sometimes there's just not enough of a role there. But for Marla, the character that they wrote, she really has a full arc with a lot of ups and downs. And there's just so much to do with these people. Just their look in general is absolutely invigorating. And uh, to step inside of that is a, like a real privilege. It's really exciting. Uh, and they sent over the script uh, very, uh, kindly saying, would you be willing? And it was like the greatest story ever. <laughs> and then I thought, my God, a man in entertainment, swindling white middle-class workers? How could that ever happen? <laughs> um, and so, and so uh, I just thought it was very uh, prescient, I believe. So great story. But I will tell you that my son in Australia called me and said, um, How's the film going? What are you shooting today? And I said, I've got a sex scene <laughs> with a much younger man. And my son laughed and said, how much younger, Mum? And I said, about 10 years younger than you are. <laughs> <laughs> he, he laughed a lot. <laughs> I love Jason Schwartzman. I, I recently, um, past two years, we did two seasons of Blunt Talk. So I knew him from that. Um, but he's gorgeous and he couldn't have been, I was a little <laughs> nervous. It's a long time since I've done a sex scene in a bed with a man. Mm -hmm. um, not in real life, but in, on, on <laughs> film. <laughs> and, Earlier this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, but, but it was such a, um, Myra and Wally run a very happy, relaxed set and so I was not, I, I was a little uh, apprehensive, but uh, and Jason is such a dream to work with. He's fabulous. What is your favorite Sundance memory, either this year when you've all been together, or from other years that you may have been here? Miss Mary J. Blige oh, and yeah. I hanging out like we do. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would have been when we were here five years ago with Animal Kingdom. And Kenneth Duran from the LA Times called across the street from me, you're going to get an Oscar nomination. Mm -hmm. And I thought he was just a stalker. <laughs> <laughs>